Are you ever going back into Christianity? No, no. Bro, when I'm praying to Caesar, Bo is insanity. Living your life chasing money and vanity. No, no. Speaking blasphemies against his majesty. No, no. Are you ever going back into Christianity? No, no. Bro, when I'm praying to Caesar, Bo is insanity. seen in your Christian church. We bring thus saith the Lord the truth of the Holy Bible. The truth of the Most High God in the name of His only begotten Son, Christ. We are here to teach our so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American brothers and sisters that you are the true chosen people of God, the true Israelites that the Bible speaks of, the true Jews that the Bible speaks of. You know, the only nation that God has chosen to be above every other nation upon the face of this earth if they kept his law and statute commandments. So we're here to bring our brothers and sisters back to repentance. I'm saying within the law, I'm saying and teach you that that will teach you how to prosper because that's the only way we will prosper is by keeping God's law, statutes, and commandments. Right. I'm saying we are no man-made religion under the sun. We are no no uh, Baptist, no Christians, no Jehovah's Witness, no Seven Day Adventist. We are no Muslims, huh? We are God's true chosen people, huh? The brain forth is true. We deal with that self Lord. This is not a religion. You know what I'm saying? But saying that, we will quote Deuteronomy 6 and 4 here, O Israel. The Lord our God is one God. Right? In the Hebrew, that's Shemayah, Sha'ala, Ahaya, Ahaya, Nawa, Ahaya, Akkad. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah, uh, I want to address uh, something that had happened uh, earlier when we had uh, came up. Hello? Oh. Um, there's, there's like a few people up here that, that they're like, uh, God bless, God bless. But we, we, we try to bring the word to them, but they don't have that understanding. You know, when, you know, when we're to bring out the word, they don't take the time to, to, to stick around and hear what we have to say. You know, they, they want to say God bless and then, you know, continue walking on down, you know, and, and going about what they've been doing, you know, every day, you know. So, uh, especially me, you know, I come out here every week, prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great and, and Letting our people know that we are the true chosen of the Most High. Right, right, right. Bring it out. You know, a lot of our people they don't take heed to it. So we're going to bring out Romans uh, ten and one. So, uh, brother, you ready? This is the Book of Romans, chapter ten, verse one. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. Yeah, see, that's exactly what I was talking about, you know, as it's written. You know, our people got that zeal, zeal the most high, all right? It's in our DNA to have that zeal the most high. The most high gave us that gift. You know, he gave us that gift and that, you know, to, to stay connected. 
you know, but You know, not in according to knowledge because, you know, they've been hanging around in them Christian churches, you know. And and we, we're telling our people to come out come up out of them Christian churches because they don't tell us nothing. You know, they all you ever learn in them Christian Christian churches is that, you know, you know, just entertainment. You know, they always do singing and dancing and they tell you that the laws are done away with, but they still keep that tithe law. That's right. You know, they, they still want that money. Hello? You know, shouldn't that, you know, shouldn't that wake y'all up? Shouldn't that tell you, tell you something that, that's something wrong? All right. We come, we come up out here to, to tell our people that, to come up out of these churches, because they ain't, they ain't about righteousness. They ain't about uh, following the commandments. They ain't about uh, keeping our people in order. All right. They're about the devil. They, they follow the ways of Satan. Alright? These Christian churches ain't nothing but the house of demons. That's right. But they don't want to listen. They want to hear uh, smooth words. Bring it out, huh? Bring it out. Alright. Anybody got a... Isaiah. Yeah, bring that out. Smooth words. Uh, go ahead. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 8. Now go, write it before them in a table, and note it in a book, that it may be for the time to come forever and ever, that this is a rebellious people. That's right. Lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, which say to the seers, see not, and to prophets, prophesy not to us right things, but speak to us smooth things. Prophesy the seats. Hey, hey, that that. Wow, Bring it out. That, that's just right off the bat, right there, man. That's just straightforward. Straight up. I mean, that's exactly what I was talking about, man. You know, our people, they, they, when we bring out the truth, telling them that that we are to separate and be within our own. All right, they don't want to hear that. They want to be accepted by all the other nations. All right, when when clearly the other nations don't give a damn about us. Man. That's right. All right, they 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 sitting here making money out of our communities, and then, you know, and then when they uh, come home, they they laugh at us, you know, saying these, these stupid niggas they ain't they ain't got their shit together. Ooh. Bring it out. You know? But but our people they still want to be accepted. They still want to give these other nations the benefit of the doubt. All right. Hey, give me, uh, give me Psalms uh, 83. Bring it up. All right, we're gonna find out. All right, straight out, straight out of the Bible, straight out of the Torah. All right, who our enemy is. All right. Bring it up. We're gonna. This is our. This Bible literally has a list of nations of people that are enemies against us. That's, That's right. right. We're gonna find out. All right. Hell, even the Lord has enemies. That's right. That's right. All right. But, you know, these Christian churches, they tell you that God loves everybody. Right. How is that when he has enemies? Woo. Hey, go ahead. Bring it out. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 83, verse 1. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. Alright, the, the Lord, he got enemies. It says right here. Alright, this is good. You know, these, these are demonic spirits that we got to put up with. You know? That's right. You're going around blasting music, causing confusion. That's right. You know, but, you know, the Most High is going to get his ass. You know, we come out and then, you know, tell our people to get right. And, you know, they, they go about their own folly ways. Alright, uh... So yeah, we just uh, read that part again. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that, ha that hate thee have lifted up the head. Yeah, so these other nations, they walking around proud. All right, they acting, they acting like they, they over us. 
Like they acting like you know they, you know, uh, like we we uh, just a bunch of you know scavengers or animals or whatever. Right, right. All right, go ahead. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. That's talking about us. Right. They, they came against us. That's right. Not only against us, but it's, but against the Most High. That's, That's right. right. You know, go ahead. They they have said, "Come and let us cut them off from being a nation." Hey, that's what happened right now. You know, we don't even know who we are. We call ourselves Black African American, but really, we are indeed the Hebrew Israelites. Right, right, right. 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 We ain't no goddamn African. We ain't no Black. Yeah. All right. That is powerful information. All right, the so-called white man. They tell you that you know they they tell you that uh the Africans sold their own people into slavery. Well. Yeah, according to historical uh, records, it's really the Africans that sold the Jews into slavery. That's right. All right, the real Jews are a Negro nation of people. All right. You know, uh, a lot of people, they don't believe that. But but the, the original inhabitants of Israel are indeed melanated people. All right. Why do you think Moses was able to blend in with the Egyptians? Right. All right, Moses, you know, he's an Israelite. From the tribe of Levi, he was able to blend in with the Egyptians, another dark-skinned nation. So you mean to tell me, all right, we've been told that the Israelites are so-called white and all that. Well, how the hell is he able to blend in with the Egyptians if we if we know that the Egyptians are melanated? That's right. You know, <laughs> it don't make no sense for him to be so-called white, or he ain't no damn Arab either. You know, he's a he's a uh, he look like us. No, Moses. All right, go ahead. This is the book of Psalm, chapter 83, verse 4. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. But they have consulted together with one consent. Get that word. They are confederate Get that word. against thee. The tabernacles of Edom. The first enemy on the list is the tabernacle of Edom. Right, right. All right, if you go into the Hebrew... Uh, Edom means Adawam, uh, which means red. Who, who are the nation of people on this earth that, ha that are red? That Bring, are it red all over. Bring it out. They have no melanin. Bring the it so out. The so-called white men. That's They're the right. first person on the list all right, that happen to be the first, the, the, the top enemies of our nation. That's right. Because they knew that we were a holy nation. We were a righteous nation at one time before we came to this stinking, filthy place. That's right. Bring it out, Al. All right, so they're, they're our top enemy, all right, and we need to remember that, all right? We got d demons walking amongst us, uh, even to this day, thinking that everything's cool. When it's not, all right, we, we, we are uh, awake. We, we know that uh, the times that we're in, we know that this whole earth is on a vibrational war, all right? Everything's about to uh, kick off into a war, uh, World War Three. And when this place get, get destroyed, our people are going to take rulership next. That's right. We're going to get that kingdom next. All right? And that's according to prophecy. We got believe this. Believe it or not. We don't care if you get mad. Who cares? That's right. Go ahead. The tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites. Arab. Of Moab. Chinese. And the Hagarines. And Gebel. And, and Ammon. Japanese. And Amalek. Amalek, the fake Jews over in our homeland. Israel. That's right. Bring it out. All right. They're, they're nothing but Khazars from the Khazarian Empire. All right. They know that they're not the real Jews, but they try to uh, hide their identity because they know that they're the damn devil that the Bible speaks of. Bring it out, huh? Revelation. The Philistines with the inhabitants of Tari. Damn Africans. And Shur also is joined with them. The goddamn East Indians. All right? So, yeah, that that, that gave out a list of nations of people hey, that came against us at one time and, and totally destroyed our people. All right? Don't get that word. Don't get that word. Don't get that word. Don't get that word. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 
verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies. We shall serve our enemies. All right, is the, isn't that what we were doing uh, back in the uh, back when we were picking that cotton? All right. Bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. Huh? The only reason why this place was built up and, and rich is because of us. All right. We had a bull whip on our backs to, to build up this, this filthy, stinking place. All right. All right, this brother, he's holding up this this, uh, this board here, giving out a, a clear uh, example, of, uh, a clear proof that of what we had been through. All right, we were, uh, uh, sorry, uh, go ahead. Therefore, shall thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and... In hunger. All right, we got to go to the so-called white man for food. Even though it's uh, genetically modified and, and, and contaminated. And in thirst. All right, for water, for something to drink. Go ahead. And in nakedness. All right, we got to go to him for clothing. All right, he's the one that owned uh, own the, uh, the majority of uh, all the companies, you know. This is his This is his heaven. This is our hell. What did, what did DMX say? Uh, uh, a black man's heaven is a white man's hell. That's right. Yeah, that's what he had said. Go ahead. And in the want of all things. Okay, you know, you know money, cars, uh, jewelry, all that other stuff. All right, go ahead. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. The yoke of iron upon our neck. We were the only nations that fulfilled that prophecy. We were the only nations that had that yoke of iron upon our neck. That's right. Those fake Jews, they never fulfilled that prophecy. So don't give me that crap saying that uh, they, they are the real Jews, all right? Saying that, you know, uh, you, know you, you believe that they're the real Jews because you were taught that. You never did actual research. That's right. Bring it right? up. That's, Bring it that's up. number one. If you did research, you'll know that the, the real Jews are melanated people, are, are dark-skinned people, all right? That's right. With, with really beautiful hair. All right? Uh, you... Oh, and by the way, as soon as we had that yoke of iron upon our neck, that was the beginning of the destruction of our people. That's right. That was when we 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 don't even know who we are anymore. Right. Right. Go ahead. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Hey. He destroyed us. All right. He's, he's, we saying fellow, uh, our, our people hanging around with the enemy. All right. We we seeing our uh, people like Steve Harvey. He said he don't give a damn about slavery. That's right. See, he's destroyed. He's a destroyed Negro. That Mr. Potato Head looking at us. You know, <laughs> traitor to his people, man. Right, right. Bring it out, bro. Bring it out. You know, I, I have no, you know, I really can't, can't stand coons, you know. I, I'm sorry, I, I really have no mercy for coons. All right. I really don't. I mean, it just, they, they just, they should be the first one to get, get utterly just, just taken down. All right. They, they disgust me to the, to the mat. This is the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. That's right. The earth is given into the hand. If you look around right now, if you look in the commercials, okay, what, what's the first thing you'll see? You'll see a, a, the damn devil advertising for his company or whatever. All right? He, he's, he's all over the place. He, he, you know, he even has his face on the dollar bill. All right? He, he, he also inspired other nations to, to uh, have the same uh, custom like him. All right? That's right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. All right? He covered the faces of the judges thereof. Cesare Borgia. All right? He, he has out this uh, fake uh, sweet white Jesus. All right? Telling us that that's, that's the Messiah and that he... But that, that's the same damn devil that had us in, in uh, slavery. That's the same conquistador that, that took uh, took down our uh, Native American and Latino brothers and sisters. All right? That's the same devil that deceived the earth. I think
think it's uh, Matthew 24. Uh, I think it's in the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter, where it goes into uh, many shall come in my name, saying I am Christ. That's right. Bring it out. Please. 24, 24. You go ahead. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 24. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall, gr and shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible, they shall see the very elect. Woo! Hey, beautiful. Beautiful. Hey. <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say after that. You know, that Bring it out. Yeah. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, four, verse 5. For many shall come in my, my, my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Kind. Yeah, so, you know, we got imposters claiming that they're Christ, you know, Cesare Borgia, all right, claiming that he's the Messiah, deceiving the whole world. All right, having us thinking that, having us thinking that he's the, the light, when he brings nothing but darkness throughout the whole earth. That's right. He's so bad that even uh, animals are committing suicide. That's right. That's a damn shame. The whole earth is mourning. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 23. Then if any man shall say to you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. Hey, if, if, hey read that again. Then if any man shall say to you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. Yeah, so that goes back to false uh, prophets, you know, telling you that, you know, here's Christ. You know, thinking that they know what's going on when they really don't have that understanding. They don't have that knowledge. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. You know? Don't listen to people like that. Right. See? See, all that noise, you know, it's going to come to a knot, you know, soon. All right? But anyway, but, uh, there's, there's, there's a lot of uh, lot of wolves in sheep's clothing deceiving the people, you know? You know, trying to get you to to uh, believe in what they believe is right with, with absolutely no true understanding of the scriptures. All right? See, you know, that that's why you should really uh we're in we're in, in the information age. You you should be able to pick up on information needed to have the proper understanding of uh of historical records that was recorded in this in this uh Bible, you know. Lord, protect me in this walk Cause every day's a battle Praying that I don't get trapped While walking through this world Don't put me back to sleep, Lord God, you're serving with compassion Show me if I'm lukewarm Show me if I'm Lord Protect me in this walk Cause every day's a battle Praying that I don't get trapped While walking through this world Don't put me back to sleep, Lord God, you're serving with compassion Show me if I'm lukewarm Show me if I'm Show me if I'm lukewarm So I can dodge that nuke storm Understand I'm stressing no Wickedness is vexing, the words and actions test me Man, I think I'm crashing, put my mind in the Bible Need a recharge, cause time is hard, but I put my trust in God I ain't never going back, plus I got my brothers to pull me on If I ever get off my job, some disconnect like an iPod Sensual, no spirit, tell me if you can feel it Lost a couple of brothers, I'm a soldier, but it hurts Regardless of the fact, I'ma push it to that dirt Touches on my back, if you a soldier, put in work Regardless of the fact, keep it Pushing to that dirt, touches on your back. Put that flesh of death and grip them laws instead. Instead of the world and everything in it. If you ain't, then you probably sinning. Breaking the law and you don't mourn. So tell me how you about the Lord. He'll spit you out if you lukewarm. Spit you out if you lukewarm. 